Our next guest says this senseless violence must be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law, and he should know Georgia Attorney General Chris Carr joins us right now. Chris, good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, your daughter is a freshman at the Univ University of Georgia, uh, and we were just talking during the commercial timeout. Everybody there is freaked out about what happened. Yeah, they are. If you, my daughter, other uh, students, the community. Uh, you know, this is the perfect tragic storm of a failed immigration system, dangerous sanctuary cities policies, and an environment where DAs won't enforce the law such that law enforcement doesn't feel like it can do its job. Yeah. And I heard about the press conference that the mayor's going to engage in. Well, the first thing he needs to say is he can play word games all he wants. He is part of the team that created the sanctuary cities that they said they knew better than federal law or state law. He needs to start enforcing federal law, working with law enforcement so that people that are in this country illegally are deported. This crime could have could have been avoided if this individual was never here to begin with. Right. And Chris, until Madison's report just 90 seconds ago, I did not realize that Athens, Georgia, uh, there's, you know, is a sanctuary city. It's obviously a college town, and it will be interesting to hear what uh, the mayor has to say at his press conference uh, later today. But ultimately, uh, also during the commercial, we were talking about how this guy apparently does not have a valid asylum claim. He should have been turned around at the border, in which case he never would have wound up going to uh, the great state of New York City, where I'm sitting right now, with his wife and five-year-old, and ultimately never would have gone to Georgia, where he wound up allegedly killing that woman. That's exactly right. Look, the, the immigration system's broken, and we got to stop talking about it. We got to start doing things. The president of the United States needs to start doing the things he can to shore up the assets on that border. We have to end catch and release. We sued we, a number of, of Republican AGs, and I sued to, to maintain the remain in Mexico policy, and instead they instituted catch and release. Mm -hmm. Congress has got to come back together. I know that the bill was not what we needed to have, but that's fine. We got to get back to work. Right. I was a chief of staff for a U.S. Senator. You don't just stop. You roll your sleeves back up right. and get back to work because folks are, are abusing this system and it is a matter of life and death. Sure. It is no longer political theory. Uh, this is a, we are now seeing in Athens, Georgia, an individual lost their lives because of this. And, and Chris, exit question. Um, the White House put out a statement you know, they, they mourn for the family, but and ultimately anybody who breaks the rules should be fully prosecuted. The reason the guy was in the country was because of their rules. It is. This is. It, they can't get away with this. In 2022, yeah. Vice President Kamala Harris said the border was secure. That's yeah. the year that this individual came to our country. Enough with the words time to start engaging in action. All right. He's the attorney general of the great state of Georgia. Chris Carr, thank you very much for joining us live. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.